Hello everybody. The eruption in the Fagradalsfjall system in Iceland continues, and its newest trick is a rather thick, annoying eruption haze, which it has distributed over a large area in southwest Iceland. After the crater collapse on the 19th of July, the eruption's power seemed to throttle down a bit. This lower activity didn't last long, as data show that the eruption is back on the same track it was before the crater collapse. The hazard zone at the eruption site has been expanded after our experts analyzed earthquake data to get a better image of the intrusion and how it lies. The hazard zone covers an area where new fissures could open with little or no warning. The road Vigdísarvallarvegur was opened on July 20th, which offers a much shorter route to the eruption site, but that's only if you measure it as the crow flies, as the route goes through difficult terrain, which isn't marked and rescue teams aren't watching that area. The road Vigdísarvallarvegur is also rough, and you have to have a capable vehicle to get to the desired parking spot, which is very small. So yeah, definitely don't take that route. I recommend taking Route E, but it offers the easiest and safest trip. But, as always, for more information on the eruption site, check out savetravel.is. Now, let's check out the details. So, as I said in the beginning, haze has been covering a wide area in southwest Iceland. In areas north of the eruption site, sulfur dioxide has been detected in amounts that can cause a person to feel tired cause headaches, and irritate your throat and eyes. In the capital, sulfur dioxide is not being detected, but instead it has changed a bit to sulfate, but it has the same effects on people. People in the southwest corner of Iceland have been recommended to stay inside and skip outside activities if possible. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of numbers in today's detail section, as our experts haven't released updates since my last upload but we can still take to the skies and take a look at the current state of the lava field. Since my last upload, it hasn't advanced much, as after the lava lake formed, less lava has been focused into one channel. Instead, new lava has covered areas all around the crater, so a sort of unsealed building phase. It's interesting to watch the live stream cameras and check out different times on July 21st, and see how the volume of the lava river fluctuates throughout the day. This is not because there's decreased output during the times where there is less lava in the channel. Instead, as this new lava river is being fed by a lava lake and not straight from the crater, not all the lava goes to the river, but also to other areas like the north. The output of the eruption doesn't seem to have changed much since July 13th, when it got to around 10 cubic meters per second. After the crater collapse, we saw a decreased volcanic unrest on the charts. But when I uploaded my last video, they seem to be rebounding. Now they reached the same level as before the crater collapse, which implies that activity is back to levels before the collapse. This means we can estimate the current volume of erupted lava, if we assume the eruption has been relatively stable since July 17th. On July 17th, the volume of erupted lava was 7.5 million cubic meters. Now it is around 10 million cubic meters. The area covered on the 17th was 0.92 square kilometers, so we can estimate that the area covered has passed the 1 square kilometer mark by now. But hopefully, by the next upload, we'll have more official data. In this current state of the eruption, how could the lava field advance? Well, currently, much of the lava has been advancing north in an uphill battle, but soon this may not be an uphill battle anymore as the northern edge of the lava is closing in on a high point, which when passed, could allow it to flow faster and further north with the help of gravity. The lava field is also growing fast south of the equator, but which edge, the north or the south, will be dominant is uncertain. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed, I also hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.